another mini review, Roller Drum. This is a game that's Tony Hawk, but roller skates. But it's also a shooter, but it's also an 80s dystopia. But what it mainly is, is fun. The gameplay is simply really fun. Before we move on, though, I'm going to have an ad for another sliding and shooting game. Before we get into the rest of the video, I'd like to mention my Steam game, The Silicon Shadow. Use your glide boots to slide and shoot through killer robots, conquer platforming challenges, and explore the dark atmosphere of a steampunk, retro-futuristic space station. Fight the shadows within the depths of space and uncover the truth of its downfall in this noir movement shooter. Also, I want as much feedback as possible. Feel free to do so in the Steam Community Hub or wherever else. Let's get into it. The skating, in terms of basic movement, captures a lot of the Tony Hawk games feel with fast paced skating that makes you feel as agile as Spider-Man and it's really good. The tricks and flips and stuff are really simplified, but for me that's completely fine. The shooting is fun and they use a combination of hard lock-ons and slow mo to make sure you're actually able to hit anyone doing a backflip at 100 miles an hour. The slow-mo feels really good, killing someone while, while in the air doing a flip from a half pipe or while grinding a rail never gets old. There's a good dodge roll and it's interesting to discover that it's also very good at, for changing direction uh, quickly and and canceling your skating momentum. There's a good selection of guns that are fun, although the laser rifle takes a bit of getting used to. There's pretty good enemy variety. Most of them are good enemies, although the amount of them can get pretty chaotic at times. Uh, there's a boss that's not good and gets repeated. Uh, the thing is that it's a big vehicle you're supposed to skate onto, which sounds really fun, but it's simply implemented awkwardly. Uh, there's a good level variety and design, but the aesthetic variety in the levels is pretty limited with, with only four texture sets for 12 levels. The majority of the story is told through text notes, and I never really read those, so I don't have anything to say about the story. Sorry about that. The aesthetics are good and nail the nostalgic late 70s, early 80s textures and colors. There's also good music. Overall, this is a fun skating and shooting time, and I'm giving it an 8.51. Thank you to anyone who likes, concerts, or subscribes. That's it. Hey.